to do is tell you a little bit about Will, Will This Float is, um, invite our judges to come up. They're going to introduce themselves and tell you a little bit about what they're going to do this evening. Uh, we'll kick this event off. First of all, thank you guys for coming out. This is our third year. Uh, Will This Float is, uh, of course, willthisfloat.com. This is our third location as well. We are a regional uh, nonprofit entity uh, created here in the state of Tennessee, but we've received ideas and have presenters even today that are not from in this region, not from this area. So we're a big fan of taking this across the country as far as we're concerned. Uh, this is a delivery from the governor's office, in fact. We have uh, been declared a... Uh, part of the Global Entrepreneurship Week for the state of Tennessee. And give you a little ba bit of background. Will This Flow is a key event. It's a cornerstone event of Global Entrepreneurship Week in Northeast Tennessee and Southwest. This Southwest is year Virginia. number two that Tennessee has been the state with the most entrepreneurial events during Global Entrepreneurship Week. So this year, yes, give us a hand. So this year, once again, Tennessee is leading the country in terms of entrepreneurship. At the count of three, we're all going to say, will this float? And then he starts, okay? Ready? One, two, three. Will this float? Good evening, everybody. My name is Dr. Dwight Wynott, and the name of my company is MyLogistics. MyLogistics is a company that manufactures and sells diagnostic equipment to manual therapy providers, providers such as chiropractors, physical therapists, occupational therapists, and osteopaths. I am a chiropractor. I've been in private practice for 10 years, and I've treated people just like yourselves over the past 10 years, and there's been a steady increase in the amount of denials for your care because the insurance companies say it's not medically necessary. So instead of me getting angry and yelling at someone that I want to beat the tar out of on the other side of the line, I said, what does medically necessary mean? And it means that I need to provide functional tests to the insurance company. So I had to find a piece of equipment to test your function, to give that to the insurance company to come up with my logistics and it's a low adaptation cost switching uh, piece of equipment because it, it's one fourth the cost because it combines all four tests into one unit. For example, with the unit I can test range of motion, go forwards and go backwards and then with the patented muscle testing device I can test muscle strength And then with a quick switch, I now can use the patented pain level testing device and test his pain level. And then with the software, we can get the fourth test, and that's the activities of daily Three, living. two, one. Will this float? Go! Hi, my name is Spencer Black. I'm a recent graduate of Appalachian State, and I work in our IT department uh, back home in Asheville. Community College at Buncombe Tech. Um, and I also run a photography business on the side, uh, doing commercial and real estate type photography. And I also happen to be one that's kind of frustrated with the current uh, microstock industry. Um, as you can see, uh, most microstock industries take up to 80% of the artist's sales, while the artist only retains 20%. It, uh, RepStock is a co-op based company where every artist or user of the community is a part owner and that way they, they stand to benefit as much as they can out of their sales. Um, they, they name the prices of their own work so they're not forced to sell their work at a dollar a piece. Um, but it's also governed by what's called an interestingness or discovery algorithm. Um, it helps keep the, uh, the, the most uh, quality content to rise to the top based on view count, number of cells, um, and keywords and comments. Like if somebody comments on a work that says, awesome work or great job, the words awesome and great are taken to help weigh that work higher so it rises to the top and gets the maximum amount of exposure. Three, two, one. Will this flow go? How you doing, everybody? 
my name is Travis Woodall and I own Slackjack Guitar Company in Jonesboro, Tennessee. And I build cigar box guitars. And I get asked all the time, what in the world is a cigar box guitar? And simply put, it's a one to six string instrument that uses a real cigar box as a resonator. And the instrument has a unique history that most people don't know about. Back in the Great Depression, it was popularized by people that couldn't afford to buy their own commercially made instruments. So they built their own. And the music they made with these instruments told stories about the hard times that they were dealing with in everyday life. That a guy like Trey Hensley can play, who's a heck of a guitar player. So right now I'd like to read some testimonials from Jim Chambers. Since I was a kid, I've always wanted to play the guitar. One day I went to Jonesboro Days and heard a man playing a guitar and noticed the Slackjack booth. I was totally amazed at what I saw. Guitars made out of cigar boxes. But more than that was the workmanship that was put into them and the sound they produced was incredible. I was sold and had to have one, so I bought one. Me being a truck driver, I never leave home without it. With the help of Travis, who has answered questions when I had them, I found it very easy to learn to play. This guitar has given me many hours of enjoyment. Thank you, Travis, for your wonderful product and for helping me fulfill a long-lived passion that I've always had, my love for music.